blessed afternoon, I'm Prince folks. It's been a long time since we've been here at the YMCA. So we're making this Iron Church because the Lord's in the tower of our hearts. So we're the Iron Church goes mobile right here. We've got a 310. I'm doing John Metals, the Mountain Dogs. Uh, I guess you would call it a tricep pin press more or less. Worked our way up to a 310. Worked 55 sets of 10. Progressing weight up, 50 pounds, 80 pounds, 110, 140. And then after that, I started doing some fives. And here we are. <laughs> and process felt strong, y'all, after a nice five day rest. My mother in law was in the hospital. I just wasn't feeling it to work out. So I didn't work out for five or six days, lost track, really didn't care. Like I said, if my heart ain't in it, I ain't gonna do it. But when my heart's in it, I'm in it. You best believe, because the Lord's fire right here. I'm gonna come at you with David, the giant killer with Psalm 19. It's real simple. Seven through eight. The instructions of the Lord are perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The commandments of the Lord are right, bringing joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are clear, giving insight for living. If you got his way, you got his living water. If you don't got his way, you got a stagnant puddle of water and tablet over your heart where bugs and all the nastiness is going to be there. The nastiness and the bugs I'm talking about are bitterness, jealousy, anger, envy, coveting, all the wickedness, all the stupid spirits that you don't need. Cast them out of the Lord's the most highway. That's why he gives us these instructions and these decrees. We're all bowed to him in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. I bowed to him January 5th, 2008. So since I bowed to him, now your heart is lifted, my heart is lifted. This lifts some iron. Let's have a little fun. And uh, 310 going hot. 310 going hot. Hi over there. You want more power in the horseshoes? Try these. Set your, set your pins and get in position. Get a bench. Get under the power rack. This is a power rack, not a squat rack like people call it. Many things in here besides squat, y'all. Get in position. Get your hand right. Ha! Get the breath in. Oh! Oh! Had to try one more quarter fun, but three twenty for quattro. Got a new system I've been running. So I always put two and a half on to make it an even weight. So instead of 135, when you put two and a half on, you have 140. Okay? Follow me. Then I like to go with the system of five. So when I get to my plate, I have 150 on the bar. Makes my math simple. I don't know algebra, I don't know trigonometry, but I know plate math, because I am a meathead. Yes. Okay, class continue. We put it on another five, okay? And then we progress up. I'll progress up 30 pounds from there. So you got 150, and when we go to 180, and then you go up, you put a 25 pound plate on, you keep progressing. 35 pound plate, 45 pound plate, when we hit another wheel, so we got two wheels on, you put on another five, you leave that five on, and you go through the stack. Five, 10, 25, 35, 45. You keep progressing until you can't go no more. So today, I'm gonna go to 310. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna jump on some accessories. So there it is, some plate mat Jackie Hunter style for you. I used to go up five pounds with just the little guys, but I've been going up with some fives in between. Increasing my stuff 10 to 15 to 20 pounds every week. <laughs> well, there it is. Street canoe such as eagles. Appreciate y'all praying for my mother in law. She came home last night from the hospital. We keep praying for her because she's home. But uh, when your legs you get to working, calling that, calling down faith. Put faith in her legs. She definitely puts legs on her faith and she's into action. Bless your iron journey, y'all.